What struck me most is that this is political because this is trust coming up and saying it may not be perfect, as you've just described, but it's down the road of you and I keeping more money in our wallets once our pay slips come through. And if we go shopping, paying slightly less because the VAT is down, rather than another check coming through the post or another discount for the local authority. In that sense, it's pure trust politics. I think there's a lot in that. I think clearly Liz Truss is trying to you know, distinguish herself from, from Rishi Sunak, who favours more targeted support for, for low-income households. But um, I think in practice, as I was saying yesterday, you will need to do both. Um, I think a, a VAT cut or cuts in income tax on their own um, aren't really going to be enough. You're, you're going to be, need to do more through the through the benefit system uh, to support those who are really struggling at, at the low end with their bills. Um, and I also still think you need a contingency plan in place um, to deal with what might happen next year. You know, I think what we're talking about now now is enough to deal with the shock from October. But what happens if energy prices continue to rise next year? And I think that's where the idea of some form of energy price freeze might come back into play again. <laughs> well, we didn't fall out over that, but we, we had an interesting slight difference of opinion yesterday. And I, I, I may come back to that if we have time at the end. But there's another bit I wanted to pick up because you, you did a very thoughtful tweet. And if you're on social media, by the way, do follow Julian Jessup because he's really, really good. But you did an instant uh, response to the uh, uh, to the trust leaked package. And one of your headline points was about the help for business, because if you and I go shopping or anybody else does, obviously we're spending money with a small business. Business. And we had a former chair of the Federation of Small Businesses on the programme alongside you yesterday, who said that they were gravely worried that the government and these two candidates had forgotten about them. You point out that in this, there's genuine help for people who are running small businesses. Yeah, I think two very important points there. I mean, first of all, some people say that you know a VAT cut might not work because it wouldn't be passed on in full to consumers. Uh, well, actually, one other way it could help is that there are some struggling small businesses who could use the benefit of a cut in VAT basically to stay afloat. So, yes, they wouldn't pass on to consumers, but it would help to prevent them from going bankrupt. Uh, but the broader point is that, yes, this isn't just about households. This is also about small businesses and, and businesses generally who, in many cases, Cases are, are running to the end of their sort of one or two year fixes on energy prices. So any, actually many of them are seeing even bigger increases in their energy bills uh, than households are, extraordinary as it may seem. So um, I think any support also needs to take businesses into account, including a price freeze, but tax cuts and benefit increases as well need to help them too.